Hi everyone! Thank you for watching. This is my first video on what I'm gonna cook. So, I was planning on fresh salmon. Let's see what I have found. Um, mushrooms, mixed veggie. Let's use three. Okay, so honestly, I'm a very lazy person. So I'm just going to choose all these things that is easy to cook. So what I did was I was still very confused on what to do. So preparing my board for my salmon. So I cut my salmon into half, as you can see it's a really big piece and I could not finish it alone as I'm staying alone. So what I did is I seasoned it with salt, pepper and I put a little bit of cumin powder onto it. It's not the ideal way but I like cumin a lot so I'm just going to put it and um, I'm not going to put oil on my pan so I'm using this kind of stone pan where I don't have to use oil and it's non-stick. So you can hear the pan sizzling and yes, I know the cumin is one plum. As you know, I'm really lazy and really hungry so this is like a last minute dinner because I don't really thought of what I want to eat. I just open the fridge, whatever is with frost, I'll just pick it and eat. So I normally have this routine where things that are older will have to be used first. So I just go on that periodically. So <laughs> please bear with me. So now I'm gonna take the mixed veggie and mushroom to prepare them for a quick stir fry and to add some aroma to it, I put a really huge red onion. Wait, one onion, so it's onion. I got a little sidetracked before cutting the onions. I cut some lemon slices for my salmon. So yeah, I'm kind of unorganized when it comes to cooking. I just go with what I could think of. So I like to prepare stuff while the salmon is cooking. So at times my food might be burned because I'm really bad at multitask but I still try no matter how so you can hear the background the sizzling of the salmon first attempt on flipping the salmon in one hand, I figured out it is such a really difficult task so I 
decided that to flip it with two hands since I'm not a pro. As you can see, my diamond skin got burned, so I have no choice but to remove it and continue cooking the salmon. So sorry for the burn, partially burnt salmon. So while waiting for the salmon to be cooked, I will prepare the eggs. So since I'm gonna use three eggs, I'm gonna crack them and put it into a bowl. Add the salt and pepper for taste and uh, mix everything in, combine using a fork to whisk it all. Just removing the burnt salmon skin away, so I'm just putting it away. And out of curiosity, even though I know it is burnt, I still have a taste at it. <laughs> well, my salmon is almost done. As normally I could tell if everything went very light pink. So I already removed the skin, so this is my skinless salmon. Um, lemon slices because I really like a pinch of sourness to it. So honestly, you can see that there is still remaining salmon oil because I do not use oil in this frying pan. So I just pour in my mushrooms and chopped onions onto it. I will stir fry my mushrooms and onions until the onions are translucent. And some mixed veggies so that it has more colors. For me, it looks pretty, but I guess it's also good fiber. I'm not sure, but it looks healthy. I'll add on some soy sauce for taste. Keep stirring and stirring until the onions look translucent and everything looks well combined cook. It's cool, I'm serving up into a plate and divided it into two. One is for tomorrow and one is for tonight for me. So as you can see, the pan is empty again. I normally don't wash it, I'll just continue to put in my third uh, things, that is the eggs. So I'll just pour it into the pan. So I know it's not really healthy to put mayonnaise, but I really am craving for something creamy. Instead of putting cheese, I put mayonnaise for a while because I was lazy to cut my mozzarella.
so normally I would clean the kitchen before I eat so since I finished cooking I will have to clean my kitchen first Since I prepared a big portion, so I have divided into two and one for my dinner and the other is for my lunch tomorrow. So I could just heat it up in a microwave the next day. Okay, the kitchen is sort of cleaned, so it's time for my dinner. I love to put lots of lemon on my salmon. I don't know why, but I just like the sourness to it. I know I'm eating like a hooligan, forgive me for that. Um, it is actually around 9 at my side, so I was really hungry and I haven't eaten dinner, so I was really starving. I just gobble up everything, so yeah. But if you would like to see a proper me <laughs> eating, please do give me a thumbs up. Uh, for 10 likes, I will make a proper one where I'll be eating properly and maybe putting on some makeup so that it will look presentable. So I know that the total calories for one meal, it is quite high for 751 calories. But I'm trying to lose weight because basically I eat more than 3000 calories a day. So I'm trying to eat healthier, so I have removed my carbohydrates. I hope those who are trying to lose weight like me and to live a better lifestyle would be okay with this much calories because what I understand is I do not want to starve myself. So this is my total cost for one meal. I've written it down. Do comment or give your suggestion on it. Thank you for watching and thank you for your patience.